Eva Chimera. We were three that represented Uganda. Our Zad Devadi Ava Vidiva Gattaco, Nectatanga Catano Carialis, Nene de Naro, be a chant was a chill of a chick circle is a Navarangachi tea from Sunday school. I will not yell in ninety eighty. Net gained the Naro bit at Tulama Camba, Nen take your man to Cotavera not to the candida goes also gained abroad, Divia, because of the man, America, Kenya, Kenya, Miss Omisachina abroad. Good. Tobi Danga, my name to you, get a you get a year with a ma, Nick to know it. Tawi danga, ogena no gamba bantu siri mamo, yomana uo. That was 2016 when I had gotten sick. The last phase of the facial paralysis. I went to the studio and took those photos with that girl. She's now eight years of age. She's the girl I witnessed in the labor world. I influenced this girl's life on a very big level. There are three kids that I influenced so much because I attended their parents' wedding and I was deep inside it. I attended when their parents are pregnant. Their mothers are pregnant. I was there the nine yards. And when the nine yards were done, I was inside where others could not be, where others just came to bring gifts. I was in hospital. Two mamas pushed. The third one, we waited, and I saw that the mother was getting tired. The doctor called me and told me, enough is enough. I'm taking your, your sister to the labor ward. Please sign here. I told the doctor, I cannot do that. Let me call the father to consent. I went, I called my friend. He went and consented. I went back to his wife because I got to know her through the man. My friends introduced me to their wives. I went back in. I told my friend, we have prayed we, because I'm the type, I am in hospital as I'm calling the my army because everyone has the six and the five-fold ministries all the time. I called my five-fold ministries that I know. And I told them, let's please pray for us. We are in hospital. My friend is getting, my friend has to give us. We don't want to die here. Anything can happen. My life is to stay in people's lives through prayer. I don't care whether you called me on your part or not. I don't need to eat. I don't eat food at parties. Yes, so that I don't care whether you call me or not. I, I stay away from food. People used to ask why I don't eat. Mm. Nagen, mani vye ndia, nevye sidiya. Nengamba sige na kufida kumikolo java ntu apana. I went back, I encouraged, because that is ministry to me. I was, I've always been doing God's work in your lives, period. I take God's work serious because you are God's work. As the father is consenting and signing, I never left the side of my friend until when I was able to see the baby so that I see and seal the baby before anyone touches the baby to bring waraksu. I understood deliverance. That is why I stuck in there, even when I was insulted. Because people get to pressure themselves. Rachi, it stops being about you. It's not about your kids. Because I know there are things I've gone through, I wouldn't want to see any other child go through because of love and other things. I had to cover my friend's babies because I know what a firstborn represents. I know what it means to start a marriage when you've not had sex with a man. I know the impact of starting a marriage with sex and without sex.
that class will come on its own. A family and marriage are two different things. Most of you have struggled in your families because your family's foundation is sex before marriage. And you don't know what it means. Because no one has ever sat down to explain to you. Ato kaya na kaya na nyo. No leta mogu kungu wono. No leta mkwano. To leta anga experience ya sexy u. Nyamba kuwa ngatama ino yoga vikora. Good. Abamu mkwata newa namu. Ephesians. I talked to my friend. I calmed her down and she's like, Esther, are you sure? I'm like, yes, I'm sure. It is time. I don't want you to get tired. I don't want that baby to get tired and we lose. I didn't come here to lose. When I walk with you, I don't lose. Esther puts her health on the side. Esther puts her problems on the side. When it's God's work, I don't play around. I stick in there. I push you and shove you and I push you and I push you. Ask those of... Uh, People who don't know me, what they did is to go silent on me because I'm the type. Can we have a meeting? I told people, I advised them, they looked at me as if I'm stupid and they used the fact that I'm off the ground. I am a girl who has worked with government. I'm a girl who understands the dynamics in church. When you were growing up in church, you never paid attention. Some of your parents would not bring you. I am a girl who was taken to church on a daily basis. I attended meetings you did not attend. The fact that you're the one ordained, my friend, it is money that ordained you. If I go deep down and I check, I need to find out whether God commissioned you. Joshua was commissioned in front of Moses. God stood in the doorway. A pillar came down of a cloud. I don't think in your ordination the cloud came down. Don't confuse things. If any of you has been ordained and a cloud has come down, please put your hand up. We need a meeting. You're operating on grounds I understand very well. You're telling me that ah, things changed. They did not change. The law does not change. Go to name and get the book of the laws that govern Uganda. Go to name and the book is there. You're going to cry because you have violated the law with all your hearts. And I'm warning you and you're saying what? Then when the government comes down to touch you, start making noise. Don't forget I told you I'm the state. I'm not an agent for the state. I'm not an enemy for the state. I am the state. When you get to that level, we have a WhatsApp group, please. But since you just talk about things, continue. to take dominion. Good. You Charlie. Or was a chemo you in the grace? Ka lifestyle can you him or testament? Ephesians four. When some old testament and uncle let us some weed, Uncula go mano at Andy Como to Che Charlie Wo. Or look what focusing at Toby Tegir, or Gaman and Gazunga, Njagalo focusing. When my name was the New Testament, my uncle was getting him old, my mum new, my uncle was a do they tarry? Somewhere the alimu were zawa mukama. Kati my uncle zayo chote gira kuwanga ti gote gira New Testament kuwanga jori mu. Enkade keka isako keka karakita ko. Enpia vyo tu somes. Verses nine. Of Ephesians 4. Now this expression. Tuakamaku verses 8 which says. Therefore it says. When he ascended on high. He led captivity captive. And he bestowed gifts on men. We are going to see the gifts. Which gifts he's talking about. 
verses that Isaiah, we, we read Psalm 68 on 1st January. You did not attend. Don't worry. Go read Psalm 68, the whole of it. And help yourself before things go out of hand for you. Psalm 68. And verses 18. How much time am I left with? Psalm 68 and verses 18. You have ascended on high. You have led away captive your captives. You have led away captives your captives. You have received gifts among men, even from the rebellious also, that the Lord may dwell there. I will not go back there to explain it. Go and study it. Let me concentrate here. Verses 9 of Ephesians 4. Now the, this expression, he ascended. What does it mean except that he also had previously descended? Now this expression, he ascended, what does it mean except that he also had previously descended from the heights of heaven into the lower parts of the earth? First of all, he came down as a baby. After coming down as a baby, he had to go to the grave that is all descending. And he reached the lowest part through death. He came down as a baby into a womb of a girl who is a virgin. God chose in a family. Why did God choose a virgin girl? And the world is telling us virginity is stupid. It's because you're moving on worldly standards. That is why you're failing on all corners. God loves virginity. He created it. He loves a virgin land. Joseph was a virgin. David was a virgin. They were all chosen young. Samuel was a virgin. Why is God choosing virginity? Isaac was a virgin. Jacob went as a virgin. But he went into a house that had culture. And he was given a wrong girl. And why? Because his name was for a thief. And why did he become a thief? His own mother. His own mother. But mama mule said taboo. Mothers, you need to sit down and read the word. Sarah, you let a taboo. Mama, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. You don't The Lord told me to warn the pastors, the kids that got married in COVID-19. Many of them have spouses when they're not from the Lord. Their own parents made the choices. Some kids made their own choices which were wrong. And the Lord said, you're going to pay the consequences of those unions that God is not part of. The houses that have done that know it very well. It's in their private wing. You want it, ask the Lord. He'll show you. The Lord will show you. The Lord told me to tell them. First of all, some of the kids are not virgins. And to make it worse, their parents choose their spouses. Pastors, stop it. The Lord warned you. And if, you you see, some of the kids in my age who are married, some of them also made their choices and they are very wrong. And when you make your own choice, you're going to make sure you water it. You have to live a life of forcing it. 
until when it works. When the spouse doesn't come from God, whether you're saved or not, <laughs> Sitania, the devil waits for you to make the covenant where boo. Some of these kids have already slept with each other. That is the first mistake you made. Even if you are anointed. Those who have experienced breaking up as a past. They can sit and educate you of what I am talking about. When you get married to a person. You are getting married to a man. You are not getting married to a pastor. You're inside your house it is not a pastor. That man is going to undress for you. You see the six pack. You see everything. You move it here. Ne character ye genda fukutuka. Teye isanga chitawe. Tobi danga. Agenda kubo korela. Girls, are you ready for to be shouted at? You're gonna have to put up with everything. I pray that girl child, your mother and father, prepares you for everything because the man who is taking you has a foundation has a character the Lord has not yet dealt with I see their fathers they are still struggling with their own characters and their fathers are doing well because God chose their wives and for them they were poor back in the day and God chose the perfect girl for the ministry their wives are for the ministry Cut for you, you're choosing a spouse for just having a fun. Mukano, their life is for ministry. <laughs> Your parents' marriages is for ministry. That is what happened to my dad. He had a girlfriend, a professor's wife, a sorry daughter. Ngomana yakola mwe wawe. One time my grandmother, I had taken my dad to see his mother. Jaja, when people get old and they have hurting things, I've gotten an opportunity to, to feel the pain of my grandmothers where others have not. I pay attention, I listen. I used to go and check on my grandmother every now and then I would walk. And I made sure I buy juice or milk. Because she, she has a sweet tooth like moi. And I go and sit with my grandmother. I request the person who, who is cooking the food do to bring the food. And I sit and I eat with my grandmother. While others are struggling with my grandmother to eat the food, Esther is busy enjoying food with her grandmother without her grandmother saying no. When I talk with my grandmother, she says, Oh, Nachimera Wang. I'm the only child. She used to tell, tell your aunt to take it to the UK. Be careful with grandmothers. She had something she was hiding and she never told people certain things. She told me, my grandmother cried and said, Eh, I need to thank my daughter, my mother, for loving my father. She said, who would have cared to stay with a man who has no money and is sick? I saw my grandmother. I looked at my dad and my dad was just seated in the seat. In the seat. And Jaja just started lamenting. I saw the things that are paining my grandmother. Then she started talking about her other son who died, her other son who is sick. Then she mentioned my aunties. I will not tell you what she said. It is for me and my ears. And you will never get to know because Jaja can't talk about certain things now. I saw her pain. Jaja thanked me for loving others. When I, I was leaving Uganda, I went to see my grandmother with someone. Jaja got excited and went on her knees. I told Jaja, no, that's just a friend. I told Jaja that is 
just a friend. When it's time to introduce you to the man I love, we will sort it. Jaja went on her knees to greet my friend. I was doing God's work in my grandmother's. I was not doing it because she's my grandmother. I've done all this for other people. I start it in the house so that it's easy to do it for other people. Because they are God's work. Verses 10. He who descended, Ephesians 4, he who descended is the very same as he who also has descended high above all the heavens, that he, his presence, might fill all things that is the whole universe. Verses 11. And his gifts to the church. I am the church, you are the church. We are knitted together to form the body of Christ. But when I look at people at Miracle Center, they love only a Miracle Center. I'm just giving an example. When I look at those ones at CDMI, it is a CDMI. A RCA, restoration is restoration. Redeemed is redeemed. The best is the best. Harvester is a harvester. Worship is a worship. Watoto, watoto. I was like, what is going on? Yes, Wakagala is also working. They, we have created small of groups, yet the Lord wants a team. You learn things in groups, then you come out as a team and work together. When you find those ones of World Trumpet Mission, it is a World Trumpet Mission. And everyone thinks it, it is God seated in their house. And me, I, I was thrown outside and I'm like, eh, <laughs> what is going on? I am here, then I see Vive, I see Mavuno. I, I'm like, eh, now we look like Butiko here. And I peeped every, in all these churches, I peeped like this. Vanero, everyone wants you to watch their thing. And I'm like, I'm like, when do you get time to watch me? I see on Facebook, everyone is sending me a thing. But they want me. Kambale kambuze, kakikina lembuze. Ezo badize mugabo, manisi vitegira, kambuze nga fala. Ndeva badji, osine kola wetu. Ndeva e kabaji, 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 kabadeji. Kabaji kategeza, chikano kabaji. Nengamba kano kabaji bie kivino. Nembitu nulida. Nengko nako nange sina chakula. Nengko nako nemfuka topo. <laughs> topo fan. Efe sebuko imanyira manatu. Nemfuka topo fan. Nengamba nekati weno topo fan. Yifunira muwa. Ngendo kula vanga wate kayombu ni wata dea kanti wei wati. Nengko la mm, nengko la mm, bambi. Nenda bebe bintu vya kupeji. Yungendo kutuka yungu olimo. E, yomu yomba mwewe mula nyumira nyo kuseka. Nendo kula baba sasa nga sivite gira viva seka. Nenga mba baka tenu tuliku choba checha andese. Nenga tunula bambi nezija nenga tunula mbintu vya. Nze, nze wansi nikida mbintu 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 Nekola wenti nekevera nentu nula. Iyo mana yako ze kechi vambi. Basi de yom kuru njia musi celebrating. Nekevera nentu nula. Nengamba vichibi vongirako. Nendi kiviru. Nekula vanga weji lisa. Abamu na muli mbintu evi kope kope. Nentu nula. Nga wako pia content. Iyo liyo yo gowe wangiramu. Nentu nula. Iyo nentu nula nengamba vambi. Nentu nula nagamba tunda vichi. Nengamba, ngendo kula atuna bu pafiumu, nengamba wakati wuna buna bu pafiumu, ya bu jewa, bu vivu, ya bu ti. Nentunula, nentunula, nengamba, kati wuna agenda ala atunda ya vintu, biata manjina kumaya, nentunula, nentunula bu posta, mwako za bu posta, nentunula, umulimu kwa kwa kutunula, nentunula, nenda venda wa sumbanga, wa somesa venda someseda, eh, nenyumirua, nentunula, nentunula, nenga hao nsumba kuwa wanya, wana somesa vantu, wateva jatena, wateva jakuwa wanyo, nentunula. Tugende maso mbavide. Verses 11. And his gifts to the church were valid. And he himself appointed some as apostles. 
special messengers, representatives. Special messengers, representatives are apostles. Some as the prophets who speak a new message from God to the people. A new message. Mwana to your prophet released a message which was released in 1993. And I know the source. I can bring it for you. God is not telling us about that whatsoever. That message, I know the pages where that message is. I know the man who said the very message the way your, apostle, your prophet said it. In 2020, the Lord warned me and told me to unscribe. I had subscribed on a Saturday. It was Father's Day the following day. In the morning, I'm preparing to come to teach. The Lord tells me, go and unscribe from Elijah's list. Someone is going to use it and say that whatever you're saying, you got it from there. They had introduced me to that list a long time ago when I had just come to the U.S. I never scribed to it. You can go and check. I unscribed immediately. And recently, I think last year in November or December, someone introduced me to the page. I had never seen that page. I was like, someone mentioned my name in a particular prophecy. I, I saw that someone mentioned my name. I went there. I saw. I did not click on the like page, like button. I did not click on the follow. The Lord told me to stay away. Because when you have the prophetic, God does not send email. Those guys send those prophecies there to be tested. The Lord told me never to join. He told me he does not send email. He speaks to you direct. Who speak a new message from God to the people. You don't force prophecies. God talks to you direct. Our African prophets use that list to deliver messages. And when things happen, the congregation comes out and says, Our pastor did it. They did not do anything. They are seated on a list. It has prophets like Joanita Bynams, Chuck Pierce, T.D. Jakes, Archbishop Duncan Williams. They are men that died in COVID. They are very accurate. The prophetic school, you only know a Bible college, there is what we call a prophetic school. There is Bill Jones. He's an accurate man. That is California Reddings. Bethel. They train kids as low as one year. They start raising the prophetic inside you. They ask the Lord, who is this? They train people to ask the Lord about their own children. They start nurturing the prophetic in a child. Because for them, God starts talking to you through a child when the baby just cries and it's a message. They know how to code the messages. Go study some coding if you think that's how it's done. They have prophetic singers. They are worshippers in the prophetic realm. Chuck Pierce has it a lot. Someone releases a message and that message has to be given to more than five people or three. They get the same message while standing at the pulpit. And it's released in a different way. They have people who dance. They have men and women who play instruments, but the instruments release a prophetic sound. 
kati vya njogera to vitegera for you you know bible colleges only we have prophetic schools and you have some ugandans god has taken to the prophetic school by the way and it's god taking them not their pastors prophetic schools they are people who are accurate the lord allowed me to meet one of the biggest birds in uganda who is way younger than i am when she sees you don't see i had never met people who see what i see when we are just on phone i was mesmerized i told you you throw me out god chooses my kind i don't fly with chicken i fly with eagles when you throw me out ooh god chose for me the firefold ministries the talents and the gifts to fly with everything i carry inside god chose me a man and a woman who has it double time the men and women who have it specific i have them because have when god gave my father ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10 esther can do anything because that's a leader but there are people who are chosen in my father's house everyone is chosen in a specific area but esther can do what others can do because that's what a leader is all about i don't need to go to school to study your thing you have a child who might be carrying what i carry i want you to help that child don't beat that child don't just throw the child is left right and center you're going to spoil god's work in their lives i want you to pay attention to your kids you might not be the chosen one but you, god has chosen a child in your house and the one you don't pay attention to is what god god is amazing god mesmerizing god i live some as evangelists who spread the good news of salvation and some as pastors and teachers to shepherd and guide and instruct i'm going to stop there in the old testament the shepherds were very many it did not start in the new testament the shepherd has always been there moses was a shepherd didn't he tend the sheep of jethro david was adam had kids one of them was a shepherd you're not the first one so don't behave like you you are good you are god from beginning to the end uh, there's no place for argument you are god oh i believe i helped someone who sits out there and, and, and asks how did these men become yes we i'm helping someone there you were god you were god from beginning to the end uh, there's no place because your pastors have no time to go into details they can't do bare knuckle though our pastors cannot bare knuckle themselves they are very busy you were god you were god because for them they have one thing that is specific so they are concentrating on that one thing god gave them He's just an apostle that is it. He's an apostle but a father at the same time. She's an apostle but a a pa, a mother at the same time. So they are concentrating on only two things, apostle and father, apostle and mother. He's just a pastor. He's concentrating on pastor and mama, pastor and tata. That is it. He's just an evangelist. So he's concentrating on evangelism and tata or mama. Now if he has other gifts or she has other gifts she concentrates on their own gifts they don't care what others have unfortunately these gifts are supposed to be worked together and you released from prison i left you the message of prison break you did not see it where i used uganda chitalia good katumari dise kale kale mwende you were god from beginning to the end others no plus for argument you are god all by yourself 
Oh, you were God. You were God from beginning to the end. Oh, there's no place for judgment. You were God all by yourself. I say you were God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. I say you are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. I say you were God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You were God all by yourself. I say you were God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You were God all by yourself. Tu di no muesi wa fe ya twa gara a chira wa gara wa fe ye Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Take this fainted heart, O oh God. Take this fainted heart. Wash me in your love. Come and praise them. Even when my strength is Lord's, I praise you. Even when my heart no soul, I praise you. But to fight the words out and out I sing your praise. I Lord is singing. Where 
take this ocean wind tell me if through the trial come I all again in a fight as wars I praise you even when it hurts like hell I praise you even when it makes no sense to sing louder than I'll sing your praise out of I'll only sing your praise. I'll only sing your praise. Oh. Lord, my soul, wait for you. I will sing till the morning come. And my bow on the 18th will be at Rest TV for my Fido Dido, the Rest Auditorium. Today we are in Wandegea at Eden with the past Bishop Morris Bukenya, Pastor Isaac Seru Kenya. We have Hamke there too. You go into the worship, go and re-dig the wells, Genesis 26. The wells of worship. Because we need the worship to bring God down. When the praises go up, we want God to come down and heal our land. Go and learn how they do it. Don't think your voice can bring God down. You can have a sweet voice, but when God does not see anything there, why? Because you're walking a life of compromise. When they pray for you, you're going to get stuff. It is, it is, a, it is your right. It's a birthright. It's a birthright. Even when the morning comes, I pray. On the 18th with the apostles, John and Sarah Bunjo, they are the hosts, but we have other men and women. Because you are wounded and you're causing other people to fall sick. Because you have never dealt with your own childhood pain. And you inflict it on other people. Sing your praise. Go and help yourself. Go help your marriage. Go help your children. Let's see. You're, you're busy telling us that you are busy. But things are eating you up. Your business is not working. Your marriage is failing. Everything is failing. What does it benefit you to pray to the Lord to give you money which you're not going to enjoy? You're asking God to give you a marriage. The man is going to die in, a, in less than a year. And you stay in Namwandu. And in your legacy, you get Namwandu. What does it benefit you to be a Namwandu when you're young? Namwandus are supposed to be 60 and above. Why do you become a Namwandu at 36, at 30? Why do you become a Namwandu at 50 for what? By the time your husband is as gone, you are 60 plus. Even 60, your husband should stay. Even 70, even 80. Okula Okula, period. Father, we be praised. It costs you nothing to.
to create the whole world. But for just man, just man, you gave your only son to reconcile us to the spirit of life. Spirit lover in this place, won't you hear us as we pray? The blood has washed away my pain. The blood has washed away my pain. And healing rain falling down. Ah, healing rain, healing rain, healing rain is falling down. Healing rain, healing rain. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain, healing rain, healing rain is falling down. Healing rain, I say. The young man left, but his voice still glorifies God and it brings God down. When you who is breathing yours does not bring God down apart from entertaining us. Let there be let are watching Gideon when he's gone Mother, he used I used to sit in his classes and I see 20 people this this thing of sins has 29k views in a year and how they people have written messages he's blessing people when he's not even here now or you who is breathing I don't even know you tell me you are a singer. You don't even bring God down. Now we to go and tell you I'm a gospel artist. When you can't bring God down. Healing rain, healing rain, healing rain is falling down. When are you going to bring God down? When are you going to serve God? When you get to the word artist, you are a money maker. You're not serving God. You're just an entertainer. <laughs> healing rain. The young man is blessing people when he's not here anymore. God in, embedded in his voice because he was just a vessel. Those who worked with Gideon, I believe they sit in their houses and cry. If they wasted time when they are with him, hey, whatever, they should be having a sharp memory to remember every word. You remember when he went to the worship summit? With, I said, I'm going to look for that day and send it to you. It, I want gospel artists to, to stand. I want to see God on your pulpits, on your, those platforms outside church. I've never seen God there. I've never seen God come down. People are still dying. People are still poor. When the prices go up, God comes down to heal us. Because you're walking a compromising lifestyle. Remove sin out of your equation. You're going to stand in comment store. Bagenda kusese mwagenda kula ngatevache agula na bia mkomedi store. Ngabase kafuse sibabira kumazina sword. I love comedy. I love people who give us content that sends a message that is educative. I don't enjoy people who are vulgar. I told you I touched all the seven spheres because that's what a leader is all about. Because you're going to lead everyone you lead. Not everyone is saved like you. Not everyone is a Muslim like you, but how do you work well with them? I have worked with very many people, and I have respected them in their thing. 
if they speak the truth. Heavenly Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. I pray that we learn from those who went before us and from those who are currently here. Some of these people are very young in age. Gideon was 29, but he left a legacy. Even the old men don't have and women. Because he had given his life to Christ, he sacrificed himself to serve the Lord. That's what a servant is all about. He had his fun as a young man. He was always happy. He was always happy. He loved people. That is why, even in his absence, his voice still touches people's lives. There are people who were forgotten. <laughs> in that their lifestyle does not add a value whatsoever, even when they are gone. Their legacy, we don't want it to, to go anywhere. We just want to terminate it. Because it's so rotten. How do you want to be remembered as a servant of God? Each one of us is a servant of God in our own capacities. Because you're giving a service to people. And they are God's people. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verses 14. If my people, comma, who are called by my name are the ones that have given their lives to Christ. But my people is everyone called Jumla. Lord, help us understand your views. Everyone that is breathing and walking, that is God's work. But those who are called by his name are the ones that have given their lives to Christ. So it is now separated. And when God is looking at a nation, he looks at those he has called. Those he has chosen. Those he has gifted. To lead others to light. The five were chosen to perfect, they were gifted to perfect the church. But what do they do? You are... Lord, I thank you. Father, I give you praise. We've been waiting for this moment, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Angels bow holy. We will cry, O oh, holy. Holy, holy you are. The elders shall. We will shout your holy, worthy, worthy you are. You are worthy, Lord, you are worthy. Lord, I thank you for... Ndigaya Yesu Simo, I thank you for JK Mwevaze, I thank you for Sempa Diana and Chiemba John, they have represented the male and the female out there. Father, enlarge their territories and enlarge their camps. They represent the firefold ministries, they represent the fathers and the mothers, they represent the leaders in all aspects in the seven spheres, the entertainment, the the media, they represent uh, the pre the government, they represent the church, they represent the family, they represent education, and they represent the business. Father, enlarge them in the areas they are specifically taking charge. Let them have dominion, Holy Spirit. Let them have dominion, King of Glory. I, I 
pro father i pray for an enlargement in their territories to become a blessing to other people enlarge their territory to be a blessing king of glory holy spirit meet uganda lord you are worthy lord meet uganda king of glory meet the leaders in all aspects oh father because i know when leaders do the right thing the sheep has no choice but to hear the voice of their shepherds father i pray for the different camps the different churches the different political parties father i pray for them i pray for the leaders in the government king of glory from the president to the lowest the rcs the lcs the rdcs the members of parliament the ministers the chief justice king of glory the the security holy spirit intervene father intervene intervene in our security lord intervene in the economy king of glory intervene my master in the infrastructure intervene in our transportation lord intervene in our schools holy spirit father take charge take charge oh god take charge king of glory take charge holy spirit take charge holy spirit take charge holy spirit you we the pearl of africa you chose us as a nation lord in such a time as this and when we keep quiet as uganda we thinking we've re attained royalty when we keep quiet you said you're gonna wipe out our father's houses that is why we are opening our mouths to speak in such a time as this the esters lord out there let them wake up i empower the esters out there i empower every man and woman who carries the esther anointing those that you've called in places of royalty to stand and speak on behalf of the Jews. Lord God, there are the works of man. You are the most high God. There is none like you. of man you are the most I got there is none like you all the other gods there are the works of man you are the most I got there is none like you all the other gods, there are the works of man. You're the most high God. There is none like you, O Jehovah. You are the most high. You are the most high. Oh, you are the most high. You are the most high. You are the most high, you are the most high, you are the most high God, you are the most high, you are the most, you are the most high, you are the most high, you are the most high God. You are good and your mercy is forever, hallelujah. Oh, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good. Oh, you are the most high. The most high God, I say you are the most high. I say you are the most high God. I say you are the most. Oh, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most. Oh, you are the most high God. Jehovah, 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 
Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah, you are the Morsa. You are the Morsa. You the Morsa. The Most High, you are the Most High Go. You are the Most High Go. Oh, you are. You are, 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 you are the most I go. You are, you are, you are, you are the most I go. I say you are the most high. You are the most high go. I say there's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. Oh, there's no God like Jehovah. There's no God. There's no God like Jehovah. I say there's no God like Jehovah, there's no God like Jehovah, there's no God like Jehovah. I say hey, there's no God like Jehovah, there's no God like Jehovah, there's no God like Jehovah, there's no, there's no, you are the most high. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my Master Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Father. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We give you honor, Lord. I worship your name, Lord. You are faithful, my Father. You are faithful, Holy Spirit. You are awesome, Holy Spirit. You are faithful, O oh Father. Who can stand against you, Lord? You are faithful, O oh Father. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, my Father. We give you praise, Lord. We give you honor, Lord. You are faithful, my Father. Yes, Lord. 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 She tried to go on. go more. All the Oh, my. 
Tonda tajurukuka, tata tuwebembere, fava na Uganda, tuwebembere, tata tuwebembere, tata tuwebembere, omoyo mutukufu tuwebembere, Holy Spirit intervene in my motherland, intervene in my country, oh Father, my master, I resolve a tuwebembere, 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 omoyo likwera. Tu moishe o tuwe mbere ni tu mania mun 
Tuliavana bawe I move come out Tata ita, umoyo ita. Empeo tata, empeo yomoyo we ite. Tata Uganda tukwetaka. Mukama wange tukwetaka angaba na Uganda. Empeo yo kubera oko. Yeswe ite mu Uganda. Tata ite tujeta empeo yo. Tata wa mama wafa, wa tata wafa, wana wafa. Tata, bunize ntana, tata bunize takaneri tumira, tukwe taga ita. Empe oyo, mukama esumulula, ere yunga. Mitima tate, mitima jime nyese. Empe woyo le kaite muforwarero e yunge mitima e java na bova mbiji menyese empe wo empe wo yo kubera woko yesu tata bana bova yambe tata sisinka na ba mama empe woyo. Kubera oku, Yesu, Yesu, tujetaka. Eno yempewo, e afuwa muchi wavu, mwari amagumba. Agatariko nyama, gari amagumba, labane gafu keje. Na fembe weyo, tata tujetaga, tata tujetaga, tujetaga. Empe o, yo kubera woko, yesu, tujetaga, tujetaga. 
tuje taga tuje taga tuje taga tuje taga tuje taga tata tuje taga tuje taga tata tuje taga tuje taga tuje taga tata bakoye banji tuje taga tata bazirisa bawedde mamanya bana fuya bakaba batalina center baba bataina mere omoyo mutukuvu yingira wobolonzo jikola te bacha sokola bakoye banabo bayine bizibu byawe tata batadde bizibu byawe ku front line no mulimu gone baguvako tata tuwereze mpewo yite esisinkana abate sokola oh omoyo mutukuvu yingira wo tata yita won't you blow in this vessel you've Tata, blow your air. Wind of healing, a wind of mercy. Won't you blow in this vessel of God, Lord? Don't, don't pass us by. Come touch us tonight, Lord. Don't pass us by. You're the wind, the, ve the breath of life. You're the wind, the breath of life. We need you, Lord. Father, we need you. Jesus, we need you. We need your mercy tonight. No president can handle us anymore. No leader can handle anymore. They've all done it all. They are tired. Lord, we need you. We need you. Authority comes from you. That means you are the authority. Holy Spirit, intervene in my country. Intervene in Africa, Lord. Intervene in the U.S. King of Glory because the economy is bad everywhere. Some people think it's only bad in their houses. The U.S. is also crawling via the economy. People are being fired. People are losing their jobs. Father, intervene. Lord, intervene. Lord, intervene. Big companies are laying off people. People don't even know how to tell their families back at home that I don't have a job anymore. Because their God was their job. Their God was their job, Lord. Father, intervene as the church takes back, takes back authority and goes back on top to take charge of the seven spheres. We are supposed to be on top of the economy. Lord, intervene. Tom pitanga komuro kurzi gaku ko ola gaucha alira balara yesu na fe. Canada, Ana fe Uganda, o tu chari, yimba Yesu, Yesu, Yesu ye, Yesu angenga, kuko. Savior, 
Tate chifo cha feto chigava. Kuvange chifo bo chigava, we are erased off the map. No one will remember us, no one will talk about us. There will be nothing good out of us. Yet there is a lot of good inside. Teach us how to support one another. Because when we support one another, development will be part of our lifestyle. Teach us how to love each other as we number our days. Holy Spirit intervene in our country. Father intervene in our country. Lord intervene in my motherland Uganda, the pearl of Africa. You chose Uganda for a reason. Father I pray that every man and woman Ugandan in and out of Uganda, born and raised in Uganda, born outside Uganda but carries a Ugandan blood. A man and a woman who has a Ugandan mother, a man and a woman who has a Ugandan father, they have a link to the country. Holy Spirit, intervene. I pray that we listen because disobedience has become our food. In Judges 13, you told Israel because it had sinned. They disobeyed and you gave them away to the Philistines for 40 years. It is now the fourth year, and Uganda is still crawling. Four times was it, ten is a four day. Who wants to see what we are seeing daily for 40 years? Not to me. That is why I joined the class of the game changes. I don't need to wait for the president to educate a child. I don't need for, to, to, to wait for the president to feed a child. You feed one, you fed a thousand. Because in that one child, there are four generations. A generation is huge. All I need is to educate one. When I educate one boy, I've educated four generations behind him, ahead of him. When I educate one girl, I have educated a full clan. Because if that girl has the heart that is after God's own heart, that girl will make money and also educate one other girl. And that other girl will educate another girl. And that other girl will educate another girl. And meanwhile, they are getting married and giving birth to children. I am one. It will create a pyramid. That is what the devil is using in, there, in the world. How we go for businesses that are pyramids, when we come to serve the Lord, we don't know the concept. They copied it from the Bible. That you build a pyramid, the higher you go, down it has to become big. They use the same concept. But for us, we have not yet seen what is inside. The devil is using a concept that he got from the Bible. It is Egypt with the pyramids. Oh, Lord, help us. Who built the pyramids in Egypt? How men visit the country, they serve the devil, and an idea pops, and they're like, all I need is one, and one will tell another network. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And people think it's them that started the networking. It's in the Bible. Ah, it is in the Bible. Moses had the tablet. Lord, help us. Media is already in the Bible. Everything, there is nothing new. The devil is using the concepts of the things we are supposed to use to bring deliverance. But the church is sleeping. Everyone is crowded in their small ministry because it became theirs. It's no longer God's work. The Bible says I'm coming back to take a church that has no wrinkle or spot. The church has no name, meaning it's me and you. And we need it together to make the body of Christ. When I hear pastors who don't want to work with others, I look at the pastor and I'm like, really? 
You're just a pastor and of which you don't even know what you are. When I see you, call yourself a pastor. I see an apostle. I see a prophet. I see an evangelist. I don't see a pastor in you. Lord, help us. Lord, help the fivefold ministries. They're supposed to be five. To perfect the church. And number six, the overseer. He makes sure the five are doing exactly what the Lord told them. And if they fail, number six is in trouble. He's a man or woman who is supposed to be chosen by God. And when the pastor does not do things, number six has to stand tall. Number six has to do what has failed a pastor. He has to have a heart of compassion. If a pastor cannot house anyone, a bishop has to house people. He has no choice. He has to educate people if a pastor has no heart to do that. Lord, I thank you for choosing my father. It hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy. Because even when he became inactive, as his children and his wife, we needed to stand tall. Moses needed a man and a woman to hold his hands when he was tired. All we've done is to hold my father's hands. Lord, choose men and women who are willing to do your work wholeheartedly when it's not about them. We would have used our money to buy cars. My dad is 67 years old. He has no house. We chose to serve you. Lord, remember men and women who are like my parents. Remember them, Lord. Because some got tired and gave up. Some even left Christ. There are men and women that walked with my father. They just stayed with the word, praise the Lord, in their mouth. Their life is compromised. They have the money. But Jesus, Akuna. It breaks my heart. The kids are worth with in Sunday school. They have the money. But Jesus, Akuna. And our parents are looking at our money. They're not looking at the Jesus inside us. We are just doing, drinking of alcohol, fitting in the world. Tata Charlie, the Blimwana, when Nasama Connais and the school, who guided the Tata Charlie, Charlie, the Canisayo, a Tandica, Muluku Muru and Dansavu, Tata Charlie, the Kumanga in Emirandida, where guided the Lord Water the Church. Because I know you're still in the foundation. It's about the money. It's about the money also. They choose who to support. Tata yingirabo. Tuleme kolesa vize wakola. Tata kweka irite nyamba ne mokole so vize wakande vange. They are humans, they are not perfect. Tata nyamba, walugendo luange. Mamu kululo. Pulivienda vienga sivya agala. Nemo kutambula na vyo. Sagala biongira yo. My dad emphasized righteousness. And when they disagreed, he ran away. We have paid the price. For over 20 years. Lord, that is not simple. I don't think I've gotten men who have sat down with me and they walked with my father to know how I feel. But one thing I know you said you have my back. I've held on to that till death. Even when they blocked me, I held on to your word that you have my back. There is a child out there who has no one to talk to. Lord, meet them in the house. They got tired. They are like salvation for what? What have gone through? I don't think their children can go through it. 
if they are doing well and they are still struggling with salvation, now if they go through being disrespected, can they stand? I have seen most of them but can they go through what I've gone through? Challenged of health of 38 years. Then words, your name is destroyed. And people are staring at you because they had a rumor. And they accepted it and they believed it. And in 2022, they are still walking with the same rumor. They have grandchildren. Because I never came out to defend myself. They don't know the truth. They don't watch the classes. And the person who spreads the wrong rumor is walking around. And for them, they are defended. Lord help us, because the church is dying. We think when we get the money, Jesus is in everything. This money. <laughs> my worry are their children, Father. It's not even about me whether my name is destroyed or not. It's just a name. The name of Jesus is above it all. Lord, I pray that their children don't eat the rotting seeds. Because whenever we don't apologize, whenever we don't put the house in order, the devil stays at the altars and walks with us as we walk. And for us, we are excited because we are abroad, we have the money, when hell is waiting for us. There is nothing as hurting as serving the Lord for 40 years, 30 years, and you go to hell simply because there is something you did and covered it. Because when we know the truth, it sets us free. When our parents make us stay in bondage because of their rottenness, they covered because they are shy. Unfortunately, in this season, the devil is bringing those things back because they are in the foundation. They are at the altar. And God is watching us to see how we cleanse us. We cleanse ourselves. And is using the fivefold ministries to prepare us for our last days. And bishops are supposed to make sure we wear the last garment and it should be clean. Has no stain whatsoever. We have hidden our stains and the devil is using our stains to take us out. Lord, I pray that every man and woman out there who has ever done anything wrong to anyone and they never apologized, I pray that Father, you touch their hearts to release their children because if I make a mistake and I don't correct it I am putting my own children into slavery into bondage sin took Israel into bondage and we've walked in bondage many years we have walked in bondage and we are still walking in bondage and because people get a kaliwe, you travel brody, you have the money, <laughs> and you're not penetrating through. You have the money, but you're not happy. Kids are giving birth, it's left, right, and center. You're also seeking funny, funny things. And all the money that, as they make the money, it all ends in hospital. Mama is sick, Tata is sick, and is worried about our character. Very good words. Nandi for Debbie Sitegera, Ningendam Gayena. Nay tata wave a good ya. No sumor of Lambuangi. There is a girl and a boy out there whose heart is hard and you can't penetrate through. But they are servants. Nanga vanyiga, Yanyi Girava Kwanovach Tawe, Nanyi Girava relatives, Nanyi Giravicham, Nanga Nari Kuchtut ya, where is a nature wound, which no Timago Gufuns or Gunya. Atitia 
Yes, ungano nyavwa ingira mfamile tajiraba. One time, Lord, you sent someone to ask me if I said bye to my aunties. And you had one in, in mind. And you gave the person a name. Nenchi vuza vuza kubanga nari intide. Orevi ntuvye nari mpisemu. Nengano kube simu mu 2019 to say bye to my auntie. And the Lord approached me in April 2020. And told me to call my auntie. Nangamba mba kole levi intu. Familia ya mwena tegelati anti indikatonda. It was not easy. But I penetrated through. I pray that you did for somebody else out there. I pray. Because God wants to show himself. Nti abalu kukavava vanja uro. Nebu hava nyize. Nagamba tuganyango omwezo kusubwa kumu kubusungu kubo. Tata tuyambi. Tukuwele za nehenga tuliba vundu. Familia za fenis gano kulo koko huli otie njiri. Na huku mkumukevi ya magero. Nge ewa mwejova tevalo kuka. Nge chalo chewa omusamizo mkulu kuchalo nga kujao. Omusamizo mkulu kuchalo nga jajao. Nga nesi yonechi manyi. Nga gorye nori pasta. Nenge li jajao wako chiki lila kuchalo. Nga kuchiki lila mchika. Nga yatuli wake manda ze chika. Nga hava saura saura vona. No gama antigote viku kuate. Bigenda kuku kuata. Bwe viva visiva tevija na supidi. Hava sumba chewe rabira. Boka nyakula wa mfuna agaru wa deru wa de. Hava na baba wasawe wabaza. Bwe wazala mwe mbuta. Hava nite waso wala kutambulida mbutu ukirivu. Purita hakuna. Echoro oza chivachi. Because purity wagana mubana. Nga wagenda vega vangura. Mukwana. Edoko liya isira hili. Obato chari isira hili. Katonda wange tuyambi. Kubango olumu tukubidua, nga tituandi kubidua. Na yolo wako ekiriranya. Chitu kubiza. Omlogo taologa mtu wagava. Era wamlogera ya vira mwao. Hava ne kava. Omlogo taologa walugambo. Ato mu mwana gusanga tianga gusa masamu hivi ya jisiru. Kubanga chevaloga jiva mi mwana angalo. Na maso. Na matu. Na evigiri. Hati kasita kwa tama sama tu, e mimwa, engalo nevi, gero loza, taba chakwa, gasa, chovera useless. Omoyo mtu kufutu yambe tutegele. The tools we need while serving. We need the hands, we need the feet, we need the ears, we need the mouth, we need the eyes. Because by the time he gets to your heart, he has already gone through your mouth. When you open your mouth, your heart pops out. And of course, when he touches the head, what else does he need? Is there, an, is there a come off without an engine? Everyone needs a head. Lord, help us understand how you work. Not to think that we have experience in this thing. No one has the experience apart from Christ. We are just workers. Uganda is dying because the workers, the laborers are few. Because the work became theirs. Everyone comes out and says, it's my ministry. <laughs> Lord, help us. I thank you for every man and woman who buys data to attend these classes. I thank you for those who share. Because this is not content building. This is not my work. I'm just a vessel. I thank you for every man and woman who shares. Because we are dying because of lack of knowledge. Hosea 4, 6. To follow kuburu wa kumanya. Tumanyi, tumanyi. Omu manjiba, omu manjisa. Moya mtu kufutu yambe. Lord, I thank you so much for those that represent those that are seated behind and are hiding. I thank you for those in the VIP section. I thank you for John Chiemba, Sempa, Diana, KJ Mweva, Zendiga, Ya Yesu. I thank you for Kawala Ka Yesu, Flash, Flavie. They've represented a man and a woman. You created a male and a female. And the female came from the male. The dust got bones and you got a female. They represent mothers and fathers.
They represent the firefold ministries. They represent the church. They represent the body of Christ that is needed to knitted together. They represent the state, the government. They represent the economy. They represent education. They represent family. They represent the media. They represent the entertainment, the seven spheres in authority. Let your will be done. Let your love prevail. Speak to each one of us to search deeper, not to just use the scriptures that the deep calls unto deep. When you're swimming in the shallow end, help us understand the word of God before we post post scriptures. We don't even walk. Help us walk that talk. Because when we as leaders walk that talk, those that we lead will follow. This young man did an app and he said, follow, 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 subscribe, share. This is our lifestyle he's playing with. We're supposed to be sharing amongst each other. We are supposed to be commenting and correcting each other so that we don't make mistakes. We're supposed to have a teachable heart. The bio, he's playing with our biography, our bibliography. You link in someone's bio to know what's inside. If they have a bio girls, a bio mask, can it generate power? The devil stepped into our power the wrong way. We've allowed the devil to tap in, but for us, we don't tap in. We don't allow God to tap in. He's playing with our biology. That is why homosexuality is on the rise. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Because it's, it's, it's on, on top in all the spheres. They're using designs. They cover it and say they are designs and men wear the things. And the, the devil is taking the agenda to the next one for us. He's saying, ah, it was just a fashion issue. And the devil is busy being creative. And we are watching the men are wearing like women. A man comes out, painted fingers, and they say it is a fashion. The devil took over entertainment and arts and design. Yet the Bible said he fashioned and designed a woman. <laughs> hey, Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. No man or woman or spirit in form of monitoring to cause harm should find me. Let them go blind. Let them sleep. Let them go busy. Because I don't want them to die. I want them to stay and watch what God is going to do in our lives. I cover Uganda in the blood. I cover this class in the blood of Jesus. No man or woman will alter it. Anaji kwa tako. Kabe mazumbak. Agenda kutegira. Ndiri yomu nini waba nini ya mtondo. Na muwaga mages. Gaza nyira konga wayagara. We are of the same age. If he can do that at his age, that means I can do better. Above and beyond. I'm above the media. I feed the media, which he cannot do. He uses us to feed him. Meaning, taina mani. We feed the media. He's always waiting to make money off us. And people don't see that. They give him what he wants. I am not giving him what he wants. I am going to feed him on the blood, the only blood. And I'm going to feed him on the word of God. I know he watches. And it's a double-edged sword. This is 2023. Let him watch his back. I give you praise, Lord. I give you glory. I give you honor. We are above them. I am the state. I am a Ugandan. I come from the royal family. I sit at the table of presidents. That means I am above him. And I take a full authority. Galatians 4. When I grow in the spirit and I mature, I stop being a slave. I stop being a young hare. And I take charge as a child. And this is me taking charge in Jesus' name. 
I empower every young girl and boy out there in our generation because it is our time to rise and shine. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Africa, rise and shine. Enough is enough. They come to our countries and get things and use them and then make us pay a lot of money for it. It is our time to use our raw materials and our resources to give them the product. And Jehovah has the final say. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Amen. When I'm alive, I go live. It is always an honor to see you sit on the front line. I call it the VIP section. Very important people sit in the front seats because they have nothing to hide. They want to learn and grow and help their own children. To those who are new here, I'm a service provider in line with the word of God. I look at our general lifestyle through the word of God to help people who are struggling First with leaders, because I'm a born leader, according to the word of God. Ask the Lord the word he gave you about your child. When my parents agreed to get married, the Lord told them your firstborn is a leader. And my father gave me Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10. When I was leaving the country, I asked my father, do we have another word? He said no, because it came from the Lord. The message about being a leader, it, God sent someone to tell them. A person died a long time ago. There were two messages about their firstborn. And I've carried them my whole life. Esther is just a cover. Those who tap inside me get to know deeper stuff. And God has allowed very few people to tap in because we protect the anointing. The devil has been after my life from that day. My mother got pregnant. That is why when I left Uganda, the monitoring spirit cried. I've been on the radar for 31 years. And I carried two old people to protect me. Because they were always silent. I was always silent. And when it was God's time, because at 30, that is God's time, it's not your time. I exceeded 31 because I fell sick. That is why the Lord sent me to Virginia to meet people who took me to a man, Jay Bartlett, Google him. He's the only one who could see my great-grandmother. You don't know the picture he saw. Those who were in that room that night in Baltimore, no one could handle me. The lion inside was different. Every king has an altar, according to Africa. Even in the Bible, kings have altars. That is where they got the concept of altars. It's not their thing. You don't know the altars behind kings. When the Lord opened it, opens it for you to see it, we, you will come and we have a, a, a WhatsApp group. But as of now, let all, all of us respect each other and uh, we stay in our lanes. What you don't understand, don't abuse those who know. Just learn a thing or two and help your own family. If you don't come from the royal family, joining the royal family is Romans 8. There are 39 verses. So that you can go to the book of Peter. First and second Peter and you become a royal priesthood. This has nothing to do with being known or whatever. Trust me. I have made my name in silence. I know how they do it. I can't be a celebrity. I don't want to be lame. They are struggling with a lot of things. Uganda, you need to change your attitude. Service providers provide a service, but what is the quality? You love quantity, I love quality. Church is lacking quality. They have the quantity, but they don't have quality. And God's first agenda is quality. Even if you have only one, and they're going to heaven, it's all he wants. Have a blessed day.
Take care of yourselves, your children, because they are the next in line. After you, someone has to take on your work. But who are you working for? That is the question. Some of you have turned, you've turned your passions and you're calling it a purpose. A purpose has no value because it's God's work. You can value your passion, but you cannot value purpose. It is the reason as to why you were created. I have a passion for sweaters and I made money out of it. Everything I touch, I do it with passion. But when it comes to God's work, I add my passion inside. Have a lovely day. Your children are very important to the heart of God. Heaven belongs to children, according to Matthew 19. If you're not a child, heaven is not your portion. Have a blessed day.